Well, you might throw out say nine. Well, it shouldn't really be a surprise that Spider-Man No Way Home didn't actually get any Oscar nominations, like not a real Oscar nomination. It got one for special effects, which is sort of a given because, you know, they spent a lot of money on effects, so of course they're going to get the, the effects award, but that's it. It didn't get a Best Picture nomination. Now, Black Panther did, and Joker did. Now, Black Panther was a bit political, and the Joker was... I don't know, the Joker was some weird exception. Um, I can see why they both got nominations. And Black Panther was a good film, but it wasn't great. Um, I, I saw it, I enjoyed it. It wasn't, like, amazing or anything, but um, it, it was more... It had, there are other reasons why it was um, deemed good and artistic um, and having merit. Whereas No Way Home, I mean, let's let's be real. The, the, the Oscars, they nominate films for artistic merit and value, not for popularity. And, and movies like Far From Home, no matter how popular they are, they're never going to get the same sort of attention or credit or validation that their films do because they're seen as popcorn movies. They're seen as formulaic just there, you know, to make the crowds happy, crowd pleasers. That's all they really get looked at, taken seriously as. Um, now, the film itself, money... Now, often money gets sort of put down as a reason why films get nominated or get awards because the studios earn a lot of money, so they spend a lot of money advertising and, you know, getting them nominated. Um, now, Spider-Man no, no Way Home... <laughs> oh, my God. It earned 749.5 million at the domestic box office, um, which is more than Black Panther. International, 1,000, so one, oh my god, one billion, uh, 27 million, and that makes the whole thing, what, um, one billion, 776 million. So it certainly earned enough money to warrant the kind of, um, attention some films get but at the end of the day it's a superhero movie it's a popcorn movie even if it's brilliant even if it's the best superhero film that's ever been made it's never going to be treated like a film that's made purely for artistic reasons um this was made to make money it's a franchise film it's the third it's the third sequel you know well actually well, if you count the others it's like the, what the eighth sequel or something um, so, yeah, I'm not surprised it didn't get nominated. I wasn't expecting it to get nominated. I didn't expect um, Black Panther to get nominated, but um, there was a big political campaign behind it, and it has this cultural sort of significant significance um, because it wasn't a great film. I mean, it was, it, was, it, was, it was good, but when I saw it, I was surprised and I enjoyed it, but I wasn't like, wow, it's the greatest film ever. This should be nominated for an Oscar, whereas when I saw the Oscar, <laughs> the Oscar, when I saw The Joker, I kind of felt that way. I kind of feel like, wow, this was really something different, something special. I can't talk, my mouth is so dry. Um, it's, very, it's very late, I'm very tired, but I just wanted to talk about this for a minute because, I mean, everyone was talking about who wasn't nominated and, you know, Lady Gaga wasn't nominated and I sort of kind of enjoyed that a little bit. I totally forgot she got, actually got a legitimate Oscar, I believe, for um, um, Shallow in, um, what's the name of the song? The song from... Um, what was the name of the remake? <laughs> um, the, they remade the Barbara Streisand film, um, um, A Star Is Born. Instead of making a new version of A Star Is Born like they, like they did before, the other of, uh, remakes of that film, um, they just remade the Barbara Streisand version. And um, she did the music, and she got an Oscar nomination and a win for that. So unlike the other one that, you know, you know, she actually got one for that, which I totally forgot. But, um, yeah, so a lot of people were just sort of caught up on who wasn't nominated, and I, I didn't even notice right away that it hadn't been nominated, because I wasn't thinking, is Spider-Man Far From Home going to be nominated? And then when I didn't see it, I didn't think, oh, my God, it got snubbed. I didn't even think of it, because it's a superhero movie. I never thought it would get the same respect or, um, you know, nominations. So, I don't know. I sort of was surprised that people were surprised. I'm like, you know what type of movie it is. You know what the Academy is there for. It's for artistic merit. It's not for popularity. They're not there to vote the films that are the most popular or to make the most money. Um, they're there for the ones that have the most artistic merit. Which, because often people get upset about this film being nominated because it wasn't popular. I didn't like it. I'm like, they're not voting on popularity. 
and wherever you like it. They're voting on artistic merit and cultural significance, which is why Black Panther was nominated. And politics is in there too. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go. Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Thanks. Bye.